black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Today we try our hands at some chicken fried rice with a bit of a twist. But we got all them ingredients to throw together and see what we can create here. Let's go. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna saute off some veg here, a little oil in the pan. In goes the veg, we got red and green onions, beans, and carrots in here. Okay, so these are just like a nice little bit of translucent, a little more soft. We got the sugars releasing. These are gonna go back into that bowl and then we'll come in with the egg next. Okay, fresh pan, fresh oil. I like to go just maybe like medium, medium low for this. I don't like to burn the egg. Two beaten eggs going in. All right, fold this guy in. Like I said, I try to keep it so it doesn't quite burn because or get too dark in color because when we fry it up in the rice is, you know, it's gonna cook then more too. So I don't wanna overcook the egg. All right, so once you got this like this, chopped up, put it back into the bowl, reserved off to the side. Okay, so fryer at 330, 340. Some coated, dusted, chicken chunks here, flour and cornstarch. We pop these babies in for a couple minutes, maybe five. All right, lightly crispy chicken chunks coming in hot. Just leave it off the side for a moment. All right, while those are doing what they do, I wanna make a sauce for them. So a little bit of honey, a little bit of pre-minced garlic, touch of oyster sauce, lemon ginger sauce, and a touch of sesame, touch of sesame oil, dash of white wine vinegar, whisk her up. A little bit of cornstarch slurry. All right, we have achieved desired viscosity. Okay, time to fry up this rice. Oil on high. Coming in. Soy sauce. Got a little bit of this beef concentrate, don't know why, I just think we'll be good in it. All right, we've worked out some excess moisture, we're just gonna make some room and come back in with all our other critical elements, the egg and the veggies. Incorporation station, we mix that up. All right, we got a crispy chicken again. We got a nice, just warm, gelatinous, basically honey garlic sauce here. We toss that. Return of the clear pie crust dish. Go ahead and get it served up into our plate here. Make sure to scrape the bottom of the pan so you get those real nice toasty, crispy bits. Lots of egg up front, apparently. <laughs> and we come over the top with our Panda Express expression here. Have these crispy chicken nooglets rearranged for more beauty. You gotta have your toasted sesame seeds, of course, for that nice nutty flavor. And then some fresh spring green Onion. And that's it right there, folks. 
my honey garlic crispy fried chicken fried rice dish that I've never made before. I think it'll be amazing. And yeah, that's the twist. Try it or let's try it together. All right, y'all, we just stay rocking the floating head energy. Okay, it's just been my thing lately. It's hot. I get hot when I cook and then I get in this small room and like hoodies and other stuff. It's just my black long sleeves are my shit or my jam. Okay, so we have a floating head all the time. Anyways, we have a first timer here. The inaugural uh, attempt at a chicken fried rice, a crispy chicken fried rice. And I think it's going to be amazing. It looks to be great. I did sample the sauce and a chunk of chicken, so I kind of know how that tastes. So I know it's already good, but uh, let's go in for a legit first bite. Try to get everybody on board. Let's see what she's made of. Wow. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I really did that. Ever made fried rice before? However, I knew the components and what to do kind of in my head, so whip it up, I guess. But I like this twist of the crispy chicken. I was feeling very in my head. I'm like, what if I made fried rice, but like with a Panda Express-ish twist? Because they always have those crispy Saucy meats. Mm. So fresh. I had some little freezer spring rolls I almost made, but. I didn't want them to, I didn't want to have to wait to fry them and have this get like, kind of not cold, but you know. This was not really planned. I just looked, I'm using up like all of my groceries before I go for a next grocery mission. And I had like one frozen chicken breast, a frozen bag of beans and carrots. I had three eggs left. And these last two cups of rice. And I was like, I know what I can make with that.
So, it is officially 2022 now. So for those of you who made uh, strict resolutions, I hope you have already not slipped off them. <laughs> There's a high chance that you woke up in the new year hungover. Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. I gotta focus up this year on learning about Financial literacy. It was very overwhelming in life to look around and think about how much stuff you have to learn. To truly optimize that part of your life and know how it works and know what's going on. Stocks, investments, now crypto. I gotta take myself to YouTube University. About Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that. I have to learn about that this year. That's definitely on my priorities list. Because that's possibly most likely the future. And with anything that's going to be the future, getting in early <laughs> is crucial. But I gotta learn all that stuff. It's that time in life. To learn about proper money management. Even if you're just starting small, right? Like, just to get started. And then baby step it as life goes on, as you learn more. I really wish I had a personal mentor for stuff like this. Because there's just so much to know. It gets stressful. I also need to learn how to find like angel investors. <laughs> For my uh, food trailer cart thing vision. It wouldn't be that expensive to get started. I'd love to get it going this spring summer. I'm going to focus on looking into the all of the city stuff as as for wow froggy in the throat as for permits and licenses and all that type of stuff registration because the physical stuff that's just as simple as purchasing the physical stuff and installing it basically kind of thing outfitting a mobile unit to fit my needs so I can make what I need to make 
but all the legal and permits and that stuff. That's the paperwork headache element of this whole thing. Oh, and the angel investors. All right, I am very full. I'm on a weird insomnia life right now, kind of. Just haven't, didn't get much sleep last night. When I don't get much sleep, I feel like my appetite gets weird. When you've been up too long, it's like my body says I'm hungry, but I just feel too like oddly tired, but can't sleep type energy. And then eating is like a weird chore, kind of. I don't know. It's strange. Maybe you've experienced it. Anyways, this was amazing. As for like a first time thing, possibly give it a try. Till the next one you need to do, eat good, live well, stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.